Alrighty, we're booting it back up, and we're going to do a PlayStation ROM this time. Uh, I think we're going to do Crash Bandicoot. And again, we're doing the Bluetooth uh, through an OTG cable. I did have to use a hub in order to get the ROMs and the Wi-Fi going at the same time. But once I finished all that, I consolidated everything down to just the uh, Bluetooth dongle with the PS3 controller. Go ahead and turn it on. Show it'll sync. Give it just a second. So you can see it went ahead and it is connected. All right, let's go to the PlayStation and let's try Crash Bandicoot out. There you go. Remember, it's a, it's a go back, hit X, it's circle to get into it. There you go. All right, we got Crash Bandicoot. All right, go ahead and hit start a few times. There you go. All right, hit it again, see if it'll bypass. There you go. I just want to show a demo of it running. Let the camera focus, hopefully. focus well there we go all right go ahead and play as you can see there's a little bit of slowness go run around I mean it's definitely playable I'm sure I could probably do a few tweaks to it to get it running at 100%. But not bad for a $5 computer. And then I have a Odroid C1 and a Raspberry Pi 2, so I'll probably upload a video eventually showing all of them running side by side. You can go ahead and spin and take them out. Oh, go ahead and run. Run and jump. There you go. As you can tell, you can see kind of flies and hits the ground slowly, but again, it's playable. Thanks again for watching, guys.